Welcome to another Robocraft video, and today we are once again on Robocraft. Now, this right here is my uh, my daily uh, crate here. I only have bronze because I was gone for four days on the past long weekend. Sadly, I missed a few days, so we set back down. At least it's not 1-1, one one, it's 4-4. Uh, four four. I do not have premium anymore, so I'm not getting any of these, but it doesn't matter because I got my epic down here. That's a nice diviner right there. Um, that's a tier 10 receiver, I'm pretty sure. And what's this? Ooh, uh, random gold. Okay. Um, and I want to show you guys in this episode how I make my money. So as you'll see in a second here, I don't care about any of this stuff. I got two wares down here. I'm happy with that. I want to show you guys what I've been doing. So as you can see, my money skyrocketed since a few days ago. I'm actually at 190k almost right now. And I want to show you guys how I've been doing this because I talked to some friends of mine and they have like didn't know about this trick until like I told them. So I really want to you know fill in all my subs and stuff on or at least the people who watch my videos on what's up. So what I've been doing is you notice you get so many uncommons from doing random games you know you get crates even if it's a lower tier crate you get amazing amounts of this uncommon stuff and let's be honest who's gonna need 44 of these r rudder hawks right now what I do is I have so much uncommon stuff from playing a lot competitive games and stuff you get a plutonium crate you get eight non-common stuff it's annoying um, and yes I don't have premium anymore I'm gonna get more of that soon but what I've been doing is you just sell some of it. Usually I don't sell all of it. Uh, I'll maybe remove a few. Uh, there we go. And there we go. Um, we'll maybe sell 10 of these. 10 of those. Uh, maybe 40 of the, a few of those. What else? Let's sell 10 of these. 10 of a lot of these because I don't ever really use this stuff under the number of used to create stir bots okay uh, a few of those 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 some of those some of oh, actually I use hovers a lot let's not sell any of those that's 40k right there <laughs> let's go into our shields let's sell uh, hmm usually I like to keep my shield let's sell some Guns. Actually, you see, with guns, it's harder because, like, I use a lot of these. Those I don't need too many of. Those I don't need too many of. What else? I don't. Yeah, Tesla slices. I don't need too many. Shields. I keep them usually. These cosmetic ones. I absolutely hate using them. Let's sell all of these. There we go. How? M well, I don't even know how much we just made there. Um, because I got some final quests. If you guys want to add me, send me a request, and I'll might add you guys. Uh, these don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Get out of here with all that stuff. What else can we sell? We can sell one of those. I can never sell your headlamps. Never. Cosmetics I'll keep. Let's see how much we made. 82k right there. You see what I mean? 82k off of uncommons. Do you see this? You can make so much money off of uncommons. I just made so much money in just that one little selling spree there. And that's what, like, one or two days worth of crates? That's not much. That's not a lot that I just sold. One or two days worth of work. Not a lot. And I'm still making money. Well, like, two sales. That's not bad, not even complaining. You guys should check out my bots. Buy some if you want. This is the bot I've been using lately. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a ghost module double shotty hover. I love it. It still works in the with the newer patches and that happened a few one or two days ago. This I don't use it nearly as much, but it's good for team compositions. I like using it in all hover team compositions. Um, generally I'll try to stick in the back and play healer world because it has tier 10 nanos and uh, I have my shoddy and my Tez left anybody tries to get funky. I'll generally try to get a teammate with a mech with a disc shield module. They'll throw down the shield. If anybody tries to come through the shield to deal damage, I'll go in with the Tesla and the shoddy. So uh, it's nice. It's nice. You can buy it. Only has one sale right now. 
This, if you guys need help Triforcing, I got you fam. I've got some Triforcing help here. You guys can check it out. You guys can also check out this one if you feel like it. I also got this one up. So you guys have three guides. If you guys need any more, send me a, a message and I'll help you guys. I'll hook you up. By the way, here, the gray area is the range, the building range of the guns. So example for here, it's the flak. You can't build within this gray area. So when you put a flak down, you got to remember that this area, you can't put anything else. You can't put another gun like right here or some. That's too close. They'll interfere. Um, so you can't do that. That's the gray area. Here I didn't really do it, I just put it however. Um, this is more movement parts, uh, less guns. I know this first one here is more on guns. Yes, more guns and just triforcing in general. And here I got my MI Tans, which does not bad with the newer updates. Not bad. It's not my favorite bot, but I mean it looks badass. And I love using it. Um, you guys can check it out. Still has zero sales. You guys need to check it out. This is the bot I've been using lately. I can show you guys. This is where you put your cosmetic piece in the back on that rod. It has a lot of thrusters, double shoddy. And if I look in here, I have my ghost module in there, nice and snug. And the way it works is with damage spread, right? So damage spread is once. Example, okay, look. If you see this iron destroyer, right? It only has so much health. That's 111,000 right there, right? If you take that health, an example, somebody deals like a, a, a 112,000, for example. That's too much for this to handle, so it'll poof, gone. But then, where's that damage going to go? That extra damage is going to get put into all its connection points, which are here, 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 and here. And generally, it'll go for the highest hit point part, right? So generally, it'll go into the ghost module right there, that nice and snug ghost module. And then what happens is when it, if example, it's too much damage for both the shotgun and the ghost module, the ghost module will pop, and then it'll, the shotgun on the other side will uh, take the damage from it. So, and generally, people will target your shotguns. If they target your shotguns, then it'll keep the rest of your bot alive. This is just in case somebody shoots a, a rail or something straight at it. Your front, you don't want that stuff hitting anything. Um, so generally, it'll hit the rod that it's attached to. It'll break this, break the rod, and then that's touching directly to the ghost module. And on the other side of the ghost module, I have this connected to it as oh, one block, and then that connected to it. As you can see, it's nicely triforced. I love the way I triforce this stuff. I think it looks amazing. Um, and it has a connection point up there, right there, so that is covered. I generally have this. People don't, like, if you have your cosmetic right here, people, it's harder to see what's going on here. Why I have this, I'll tell you right now, I don't, I'm not a person who spots, right? I didn't even use to spot when, even back when, uh, the score and everything was given for spotting. But, look, okay. People don't see what's here, right? So then they shoot like a real shot or something randomly here. Poof! That tanks it. This happens so many times. I, I know I know it doesn't look like it's, it happens a lot. But definitely an amazing damage plug. That's an easy 26.5k health right there. That's going to soak up some beautiful amounts of damage. Uh, even with the new buff with the, the extra health and stuff. I don't play around with it too much. I know these things have a decent amount of health, yeah. Uh, I know flax have a decent amount and stuff. PSK's got buff, but they're still pretty shit. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So I just want to quickly show you guys how I've been making my money. Show off this bot a little. Uh, it's a nicely triforce here, so that none of these are connected to those. None of those are connected to those. So that's this. Uh, ever spreads damage. It'll most likely just spread through and into this. Um... Uh, or it'll go halfway and then push up. Well, if it pushes sideways, it won't go to your all your movement parts and stuff. It'll stop here because this is not connected. It'll have to push up, and if it pushes up, it'll go into your ghost module. Wonderful triforcing. Same thing with the top or similar situation here. That's not connected, not connected. This is connected to that, which is a damage plug. So if any damage does go in there, like massive amounts, 
uh, from uh, an eraser or something all of a sudden poof that goes in there poof it goes in there poof damage plug right there and the reason why I put all my movement parts and stuff here you want to know why I want to know why well if you look look at this you know I like these right here mmm 8.6k health do 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 those are like mini shields type thing you know what I mean um and these hovers don't seem like they have anything but like how much all these things have yeah like 14 nearly 15k on a tier 1 hover you see that shit you see that oh my god and don't mind the background noise if you guys can hear that I'm sorry but uh, I just want to show you guys the spot I spent so much time on it please go check it out on the CRF I the amount of trap we're seeing put on this is amazing I've done wonders with this spot I've gone games so I'll go you know 20 and whatever um, I don't know if anybody really cares but I mean check out the spot I think it's amazing and once again you want money sell your uncommons Commons not worth it because those are only blocks you want to keep all your blocks you know what I mean because they don't sell for enough for it to be worth okay 1k blocks for you know 1k RP mm -mm, mm -mm. I usually don't sell any of these just because I use them a lot in build um rares are harder to come by so I generally don't sell any of those I might sell like 10 steering skis or whatever because I don't use them much if I get another like 5 of each I'll sell 10 of them um type thing stuff like that generally I would sell these but I use a lot of shields lately in builds so I've been trying to keep them uh, never sell anything that's rare or above that's my rule uh, generally I only sell uncommons feel free to follow what I do I mean you don't have to um, but that's what i am been doing in the MI clan we've been doing good doing good if you guys ever want to join the my clan um, I know the whole joining process for my has been a bit hectic lately but we have revamped it and stuff so now it's much much easier if you guys ever want to join the my clan send me a contact uh, or friend request or you can send one to broke skull that's B R O K E S. Uh, no B B R O K E S K U L L broke skull uh, pretty easy to spell out I know broke like ain't got no money and then skull like a, a human skull anyways this is my tier one uh, I use for a bit it's not bad it's a modified Triforce version of I didn't put too much work in it but it's a version of the uh, one of the beginner tanks um, this is one of my tier one trolling tanks this is my Tesla troll for tier 1, it's not bad. <laughs> this is me having fun with shield placement stuff. I felt like it looked cool. Because uh, if you see, it looks like, it reminds me of, you know, at the top of a roof or something, how, the way the pallets are, are spread out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I felt like it was pretty funny. Um, and then I just got a few bays of nothing. I still have, if you look over here, I have a smaller version. Uh, before I built my Lulu, this is what I had. It's not the greatest. Then I have this. This was my PSK troll from way back when PSKs were actually decent. Um, and then I have uh, another bullshit bot right here. Right here is my micro that I haven't used in a long while. Um, he's not the best or the bot I'm most proud of right now. Uh, you just throw stuff on the bottom. Um, this isn't the Triforce and guy. I keep all my Triforce and guys. And this is my glass uh, modified Triforce version of the Nemesis. Um, if you remember the video that Adam, uh, another YouTuber, put out uh, months ago, almost a year now, called the Nem. Uh, he built a bot called the Nemesis, which was really good back when. And I decided to revamp it and make it good. Now these glass blocks are all from before the update where you could buy them. This cost me about 3k RP in glass box. I thought it looked good. I like it. So, uh, if anybody wants to check it out now, so you don't actually have to spend GC on it, because GC is no longer a thing, I might put it on the CRF. Just send me a request. Also, I, I've really been wanting to get into the whole uh, being interactive with your YouTube like viewers and stuff. I want to start showing off some of your bots because I'm looking for some builds. I know other people are looking for builds and sometimes it's hard to find good builds, you know? So what I'll be doing is I'll be 
accepting requests for bots, put it on a CRF, I'll check it out. If I think it's okay, what I'll do is I'll put up a video. Um, I might even modify a tiny bit to show people how I think, or at least how I would set it up. Um, maybe change a few things to add some try forcing real quick. But uh, so once again, you want money on sell your uncommons. These are the bots I've been showing off. Uh, make sure you check me out on the CRF. And once again, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for future content. Comment all your bot names in the, for that are on the CRF. Um, if you want me to check them out for some bot reviews, and that'll be it for today, guys. Peace.